Bum, 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 bum. Corn dog in chief. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Comic Book Punch. As you can see, it's just me this week by my own lonesome. Besides the person who's running everything else behind the camera. <laughs> He's literally running. <laughs> And everything else has legs like bouncing with them, so the camera is like, no. I'm, I'm on a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have had a uh, pretty seems to be eventful week after the election, and right before the election, while I was at Frankenson's Collectibles, um, I picked up this uh, what do you call a graphic novel. And this is a comic that I wanted to read when they first came out with the issues last year. It's called Prez, Volume 1, Corndog in Chief. And it's about a girl who works at a hot dog place. Corndog place? Hot dog corndog place? <laughs> Anyways, it's like a hot dog on a stick. And this 17-year-old girl ends up being elected president of the United States. Now, this is taking place in the future and, like, corporations and stuff have their hand in everything. Democrats, Republicans, you know, have each other in each other's pockets. Everybody's, like, intertwined with one another and trying to get deals on things that they want um, to try and what they believe to make the United States better quotations better <clears throat> um, and through all of this they different sides of Congress and stuff like that were threatening that they're gonna be putting their votes towards um, corn dog girl is what they call um, Beth Ross and As like an incentive, like we'll change our votes if you give us something that we want. Other than that, we're going to vote for this girl. Pretty much as a joke, where everybody, apparently not paying attention, all vote for Beth Ross. And they realize that they made a huge mistake. And now a teenager is president. And the interesting thing about this story is that um, Beth Ross is, like, not, like, a normal teenage girl. Like, she, n like, knows what's going on to a certain extent. She's a smart girl in her class. And she puts together a pretty um, cool team for her cabinet of people that she um, knows, even from her work, um, different teachers and college professors, to, you know, try to make America better. And now there's, you know, people that want her dead. She's trying to make peace with the rest of the world for the United States. And it is just a really interesting story. And the thing is, is that right now there's only one volume. I think they only did like six issues. And I don't know if they're going to continue it. I haven't read it or seen anything about it. Um, but there's another side thing that's going on that she ends up getting a bodyguard that's a robot who was created for destructive things and now created a consciousness of its own and becomes christian <laughs> it's really it's really interesting i mean the story is ridiculous it's cool it's it's got you know a story that i, I feel i mean it definitely drew me in um, but you guys have to check it out. I mean, definitely re recommend this for everybody to read, pick up um, if you can. I was able to pick it up for only $5, which was, I think, a great deal. Um, but check it out. It's by, published by DC Comics, Prez, Corndog in Chief. I mean, I don't know what more I, I, can, I can say. I mean... In other news. <laughs> Guys, thanks for like, commenting, and subscribing. 
Um, check out our Monday episode. We're going to be unboxing another box. And it is the... Uh, oh, I have it right here. It is the Legion of Collectors by DC Comics. Well, powered by Funko. And it's just like the Marvel box. So we're going to be opening up that. Check that episode out on Monday. Till next time. Um, punch out. It's pretty fun until I kind of look at her face and it's... I don't know if she's enjoying it. Or she just got poked in the eye. And, <laughs> or if she's, and someone... She's just like, I don't know. I think I've had too much. It's a little bit sour, so you're like... They're, they're forcing me to pose for this. <laughs>